that I'm not one of the most popular YouTubers. I know that there are a lot of people who don't like me. They don't like my channel. They don't like the theme of my channel. Um, quite a few people have expressed um, disinterest in things that I've had to say after listening to a video or two. Some of them have challenged me uh, politely and some of them have been very venomous when they've challenged me in some of the things that I have said. I realize that sometimes I have um, hit people maybe where it hurts, especially with regards to videos I've made concerning African American males or black males in general and the black community. It's not a popularity contest to me and I don't really care who likes me or who doesn't like me. The only time I've actually been bothered was when a particular click on here had my personal information and they were sharing it, which of course posed a danger to me in real life. But all that hopefully is um, water under the bridge. If I see any crazy show up on my doorstep, I'll just pop them. <laughs> or put a cap in them. Is that is that that talk? <laughs> I'll put a cap in them. Anyway, um, when people say stuff on this site, I can always blow it off. When I turn off my computer, I can just leave it right there. But I got two emails or PMs a couple of days ago, a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago today, and, and they bothered me because they were from black women. And what they were saying was, there is no such thing as a sisterhood, or black female solidarity is not real. And that really bothered me. And they went on to detail, one of the ladies did anyway, why she said that there was no sisterhood. And I challenged her a couple of times, and ultimately she didn't respond, but she still didn't agree with me. Let me just say this. The sisterhood is not a concept that I created. It is as old as black womanhood is. And we all know that black women were the first women on this planet. We're going to be the last women on this planet. We are earth mothers in the biological sense and in the anthropological sense. So we are tied to one another. We're all spiritual beings regardless of what our spiritual beliefs are or whether we like one another or whether we do not agree with one another on huge concepts such as religion or minor concepts such as how black people in the diaspora should be perceived or who we choose to marry or how much education we have. We are still earth mothers. We are still connected to one another and it's a very real connection even when we don't like each other. There are black women that I would not associate with in real life. And there are black women that I would not associate with on this site. But even in all of my interactions with black females, I always try to be respectful. And there's always, even in the midst of my sparring with another black woman, I always have her best interest at heart and her well-being in mind. And I would expect the same. Just because you don't like a black person, another black woman, doesn't mean you're not her sister. It's just, you're, you're her sister and you're mad at her. You're her sister and you don't like her. But it doesn't mean that we still shouldn't love each other. It doesn't mean that we still shouldn't have some shared goals that we all know we need to be striving toward and that we need to reach. Black women we have a lot going for us still in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our despair, in the midst of all that's going wrong with us right now. We are still a group that's very feared and a group that's really very loved, I think, by most of our children in the world. And when I say our children, I mean all human beings because we are all one race. Humanity is one race. I watched a video from a seemingly intelligent um, black male on here and he was attempting to break human beings down into different species. It was absolutely boggling, mind boggling. It was disturbing because you don't need to be college educated to know that we're all homo sapiens sapiens and that our physical features have evolved 
to just make us suitable for various um, positions and places on this planet. We all know that if you have light skin or very light skin and light colored eyes, it's to make you fit to live in the area around the Caucasus Mountains. And we know why. If you have richly colored skin and kinky curly hair, you are of African descent and we know why. Originally and initially, I think all people look like uh, Africans and then after Pangea when we went into various parts of the world of course people evolved to develop features so they could be fit for their particular environment but my point isn't to uh, do an anthropology class or a biology class my point is to say to other black women don't lose heart with your sisters don't be discouraged and feel like you need to hold other black women at arm's length because they don't agree with you, especially about some YouTube nonsense. Don't feel like you should cut black women off because you don't like the particular direction that their life is going in and you don't like who they love and they disagree with you on political issues. Because at the end of the day, we, we do need to be our sister's keeper. And when I say I'm my sister's keeper, what I mean was I will pick apart the black female. I will pick apart the black female situation. I will pick apart what's going right with the black female, what's going wrong with the black female. And I will attempt to do what I feel what's in, within my power to uplift that black female because we're not just individuals. We're all connected to one another. TNJ 2323 had on her channel a beautiful, I don't know if it was a poem or if it was something that she wrote because she's very intelligent, but she basically said that we are all connected to one another and we are. We are connected to one another in the most intimate ways so much that we cannot disconnect. Not really. We can ignore one another. We can put one another at arm's length. But we're still going to be connected. If a black female has a baby out of wedlock, if she's doing drugs, if she is the poster child for AIDS, that's going to affect me. Even if I think premarital sex is wrong, even if I'm healthy as a horse, and even if I would never do drugs because the stereotypes are affecting us all. The worst among us are how we are perceived by greater society and that's not fair. But my point is when I say that I'm my sister's keeper and I'm talking about other black women, I'm not trying to be critical. I'm really trying to uplift and I welcome people to tell me where they think that I'm erring in the virtual world and in the real world as well. I love black women and I assume that all other black women feel like I do. And when I come across black women who don't, I don't get discouraged. I try to pick their brain to see what's going on. And I think that's how we all should be. So the sisterhood is real. And the only black women that I hear saying that it's not real are black women who are not doing their fair share to help uplift other sisters. And I think the problem with the sisterhood lies within them and not the, the concept of the sisterhood itself.